looking forward to Hungary. It's not a bad course out there as well. We went last year as a World Cup just to have a mm. see what was going on out there. This year, obviously, it's about boat qualification. You know, that's uh, the key, really. As a squad, we know what we need to do. We need to go out there and qualify as many slots as we can for Tokyo. This is the first round of qualification. So we're really confident that training's gone well and, and the squad are in a good place to go and deliver those spots. I feel confident that I can go and deliver what I need to, which is to secure the, the VL2 slot um, and hopefully deliver a kayak performance that is getting back to, to where I've been before. Hungary's an incredible place to, to canoe because it's the home of canoeing. So I think there'll be 30,000 people there. You know, they go mad for it. I think the introduction of that Project 9 was a great vision that um, you know, British canoeing had. Um, it really gives you something to to get behind. It makes it it makes it tangible. It makes it real, and it just reinforces the the idea that yes, it's an individual sport, but you know, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the rest of the squad pushing us along every day. And everybody's really bought into this Project Nine thing, and that gives you that nice sense of togetherness when you go away to a competition. We're really focused on those nine quota spots so that we can get as many medals as we can next year. I think the setup we've got, the staff that we've got, the facilities that we've got um, and the funding from the National Lottery allows us to, to really be world class every single day. To be able to see the sport progressing and then adding medal events for Tokyo is something that really we only dreamt of, of happening so it's an incredibly exciting time and I'm going to keep going for as long as I possibly can to be part of it.